Hi, I'm Kasia, the Product Manager for Clockwork at Hero Coders. Today I'm going to show you how you can track time with Clockwork the way you want, quickly and easily. We'll go through where to look for your time spent in various Clockwork views. I'll show you how quickly you can lock your time manually using a timer or automatically as you work on your issues. At the end, I'll present how you can adjust Clockwork to how your team works. Clockwork offers great flexibility in tracking and viewing time spent on tasks. I'd like to show you now where to look for Clockwork in Jira. First, you can find Clockwork in the issue view. You can also navigate to My Work to see all your time logged using the link in the issue or through the Apps tab by selecting the Clockwork app. There you can find the Clockwork pages, including My Work, where users can log their time using the calendar and timesheet view. Let's move on to how you can manually log time in Clockwork. You'll see how quick and easy it is. As you work on your issues, you can add time manually using Quick Add and Edit and save your work log using Enter. Or if you need uh, to add additional information to your work logs, use the full form. There you can add and edit custom attributes like billable or work type uh, for more powerful insights on your time span. And you can also edit the start time of your work log. You can also log your time manually using the calendar. Drag and drop any time on the timeline, select an issue, and you can also use filters to, to look for them, enter your time and save. You can also move around, expand and shorten your work logs. When your calendar is integrated with Google or Outlook, you can easily lock time spent on meetings. You can copy an existing work log by hovering it over and selecting the copy icon. To lock time manually from the timesheet on the task that you already worked on, click on the day and enter all necessary information. To, new, to add a new timesheet line, just select Add Work Log. If the time logged within the day exceeded your defined working hours, you'll see a little warning at the bottom of the Log Work dialog. Let's move on to manual timers. If it's been enabled in settings, users can start and stop timers on issues they are working on. To start a timer, navigate to the issue and select the Start button. You'll get a notification that the time has started and a new line will appear in the clockwork view. You can also start and stop a timer from an existing work log in the calendar view. Automatic timers record the time of an assignee on an issue when it's been moved to an active status and use this with the user's working hours to calculate the time worked. You can define which statuses should be treated as active, and Clockwork will calculate the time for you. Automatic timers ensure that all work is logged without users having to do any actions. All they have to do is follow their workflow. To see your current and recent running timers, navigate to the Timers page. To stop an automatic timer, just update the status of the task. Let's now have a look at how you can adapt Clockwork to your processes. With Clockwork, you can design how time should be tracked on your project or in the entire organization. You can define the time tracking mode, give your team full flexibility or restrict how time should be captured, for example, only manually. You can also select how the system should behave when a user has multiple timers running or if it should be rounded in some cases. If your operations require to keep some more details on work logs, you can set up the description to be required or define what custom attributes you want your team to record. You can define the global working hours and set holiday schemes, even per specific location, so that the timers don't count the time when your team is not working. Individuals working at different hours than the default can set them up in the Working Hours tab 
if you give them permission to edit their own working hours. So just to quickly recap, today we went through the clockwork views, how quickly you can lock time manually using a timer or automatically, and how you can adjust clockwork to how your team work. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for today and see you soon.